using the bandsaw, the first thing you need to make sure is that your teacher has switched on the power and that the belt sander is switched on at the wall. From there, you've got two buttons. You've got the green and red button, green for on, red for off, and a large red emergency stop button. Then you can see you've got the, the sander's face, which will spin round, so you don't want to keep your fingers anywhere near this. With the material, you need to be using two hands. It should always be flat on the surface, and you push it lightly towards the material. Never push really quickly towards a sharp corner, because that can rip the belt, causing damage. And the belt sander should only be used for removing small bits of material. It's not a finishing machine, and it's certainly not for removing material. That's where your coping saw, scroll saw, or other tools are used. Once I switch the machine on, it is very loud. And I'm just going to push this towards the material and keep it moving. If I want to shape a bit of a curve, lightly. Now it's essential that you, um, you pull the material away before you stop the machine and you move your hands clearly out of the way. But it's an easy machine to use, it will need some finishing off, this will need sanding off afterwards, but as long as your fingers are well away from that belt there should be no entrapment issues.